4.3 is binomial expansion. This is one of the very important topic in this chapter. So what is a binomial expansion? Let me explain that. You must have learned this algebraic identity a plus b whole square, right? Which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. If it is cubed, there is this identity also. You don't need to learn this sign today, I'm just trying to explain something. a plus b whole cube is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Don't worry about this identity. There is this identity, you don't need to memorize this. But of course, definitely you need to know this. One of the very important algebraic identity. But what if the power is a very large number, very big number, or maybe 4, 5, 6, 7? It's highly impossible for us to write out all the terms. That's where the binomial expansion comes in. You can use the rule from the binomial expansion to find the expansion of this if the number is more than 3. Even in fact you can use it for 3 and 2 also. Now let's look at what the expansion is. Before I write the expansion, let me tell you the expansion is gonna look a little confusing but do not worry about it, it's there in your data booklet. So you can always copy it from the data booklet. The expansion is this. a plus b to the power n equals a power n, that's the first term, plus nc1, that's a combination nc1, a power, the power n, knock it down by 1, n minus 1, b power 1. That's the second term. And third term, nc2 a power n minus 2 b power 2. And continue the same way, third term, fourth, this is the third term, fourth term is nc3 a power n minus 3 b power 3 plus etc. etc. That's the binomial expense. The last term will be ncn. We have learned the result in combination ncn is 1, a power n minus n, which is a power 0 is 1, so you will have just b power n. So first term is a power n, last term is b power n, and these are all the terms in between. But if you watch closely, you can see a pattern there. When you have nc1, you have n minus 1, 1 here, nc2, n minus 2, 2 here nc3 a power n minus 3 b power a is the first term b is the second for example let's say for 2 if you use the binomial you don't need to use the binomial expansion for a plus 2 whole square let's say what let's see what happens when we use a binomial expansion the first term is a power n a power n a square n is 2 here plus nc1 a power n minus 1 b power 1 plus the next term is the last term in this series in this uh, expansion because it's nc2 2c2 is 1 a power n minus 2 a power 0 also 1 so it's just b square a square 2c1 use your calculator to find the value of 2c1 it's 2 2a power 1, b power 1, and b squared. We got the expansion already. You see? In fact, you can try this for a cube also. a plus b whole cube is a cube, a power n, that's the first term, plus nc1 a power n minus 1, b power 1, nc2 a power n minus 2, b power 2, not n minus 2, n is 3 here. And the next term is ncn, 3c3, which is 1, a power 3 minus 3, also 1, b cube. It's a cube. Use your calculator to find 3c1, it's 3. 3a square b. 3c2 also will be 3. a b square plus b cube. You see, we got this expansion already. So this is how we use the binomial expansion to find the expansion of the given algebraic expression to the power of positive integer number. The power should be a positive integer. 
if you ask me what if it's not an integer what if it's a, uh, if it's a negative number there is another binomial expansion which you, you will learn in p3 not in p2 in p2 this will definitely be a positive number so do not worry about a question involving negative number they're not going to do that so it has to be a positive integer so you need to apply the binomial expansion initially if you don't know this expansion you can copy from data booklet but trust me once you start solving few questions you will memorize this anyway it's just a pattern if you look at it a power n nc1 nc2 nc3 nc4 a power n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus 4 here starting from b power 1 b power 2 b power 3 that's what the binomial expansion is Here I'm taking few ex few questions from exercise 4C and solving it one by one. Look at this question, uh, this question, question 1C. They want you to find the binomial expansion of this. They want you to write all the terms. But if you go through past papers, mostly they want you to write first three or four terms of the binomial expansion, not the whole series. So here they want you to write all the terms. Look at the binomial expansion. The expansion is a power n, this is n, a is the first term, plus nc1, a power n minus 1, b, b is the second term. This is a common mistake here, whenever the students, I have noticed many of them, when they take the second term, they just, just, they just take the x, but the second term is together with its sign. In math, actually, whenever you take a number or variable, you always take it together with the sign. So it's minus x. The second term is minus x to the power 1. And then 4c to a power 4 minus 2 b power 2. 4c3 a power 4 minus 3 b power 3. The last term is just b power m. Because 4c4 will be 1 a power 4 minus 4 a will be a power 0 also 1. Now expanding 4 power 4 4 power 4 is 256 plus 4 cube times 4 c1 also 4 so it's again 4 power 4 256 256 times negative x and 4 c2 times 4 square Four C two is six times four square is sixteen. So you get ninety six. When you square this, it becomes positive. And the next one, four C three is four, and four power one. Four times four sixteen. Negative x whole cube, because negative x whole cube will be negative x cube. Here power four will be positive. So basically, you will get 256 minus 256x plus 96x square minus 16x cube plus x power 4. That's the binomial expansion of this. There is something you need to understand here. When you have plus in between, you will get the same series, same expansion, but all the terms will be positive. So when you have minus in between, there are two things you can do. Either take it as the second term together with the minus sign. Take it as the second term and find the expansion. Or do not worry about the negative sign. Just take x as the second term, find the expansion. But finally when you write, start from positive and put alternative signs. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. That's also allowed. So up to you. For me, I always take the second term together with the negative sign and simplify it. But you need to understand, if they want you to find 4 plus x power 4 again, you don't need to write the whole expansion again. Take the same expansion, put all the terms as positive. That will be the expansion of 4 plus x power 4. Okay, here. This is from 2b. They want you to write first four terms only. So you write it as a power n plus nc1 a power n minus 1. 
Second term, I'm going to take it as negative 2x power 1 plus nc2 a power n minus 2 b power 2 nc3 a power n minus 3 b power 3. That's all. There are four terms here. Some students, they are confused about the term actually. When they say four terms, they don't know where to stop actually. In algebra, the term is defined very clearly. If two variables are numbers or anything, if they are connected by the arithmetic symbol plus or minus, these two expression or the variable or the number, they are considered two terms. So here is the first term, you have a plus, it's a second term plus, you have third term plus, you have the fourth term. So you have four terms, now we need to carefully simplify it. 1 power anything is 1, 5c1 is 5, this will be 1 negative 2, so you will, maybe I'll write one more step, 5 times negative 2x plus 5c2, 5c2 will be 5 times 4, 20 over 2 is 10, 10 times when you square this, it becomes positive. 2 square is 4x square. You need to square 2 and x, not just x. Plus 5c3 is same as 5c2. You use your calculator, you will get 10 times. You cube both, you will get negative 8x cubed. So the final answer will be 1 minus 10x plus 40x squared minus 80x cubed. So if you see here closely, since you have negative sign in between, the expression starts from positive, negative, positive, negative. You will have alternative signs. So that's how you find the binomial expansion. Here, question number six. They want you to write the first three terms of this binomial expansion. So apply the expansion by taking 3s a, negative 2x b, 2x as b and n is 5. So a power n plus nc1 a power n minus 1 b is the second term negative 2x power 1. That's the second term. First term, second term. Third term is 5c2 a power 5 minus 2 b power 2. That's all. We got the three terms already. Expand. 3 power 5 is 243 and this becomes plus 5 c1 is 5. 3 power 4 is 81. 5 times 81. 405 times negative 2x plus 5 c2 is 10. 3 cube is 27. When you square it, it's 4x squared, becomes positive. So it's 243 plus times minus minus 810x plus 1080x squared. That's all, we got all the three terms here. Question 7, here they want you to find all the terms in this binomial expansion of this. You see, sometimes you will get a fraction here. Do not worry about it. Just apply the expansion by taking this as a second term. So, a power n plus nc1 a power n minus 1 b power 1. nc2 a power n minus 2 b power 2. nc3 a power n minus 3 b power 3. nc4 a power n minus 4, b power 4. The last term is just b power n. Now you have to carefully simplify this. It's x power 5 plus 5 times x power 4 times 1 over x. This is 1 over x. And this term is 5c2 is 10 x cubed times, when you square it, 1 over x squared. Plus, you just need to carefully simplify this. 5c3 is same as 5c2, you will get 10 x squared. When you 
put power 3 here 1 cube is 1 x cube 5 c 4 is 5 x times 1 over x power 4 this is 1 over x power 5 that's all simplify again you get x power 5 here when you cancel x you'll get x cube so 5x cube when you cancel square use laws of indices you get x power 3 minus 2 is x power 1 which is 10x here you will have x in the denominator so 10 over x here you will have x cube in the denominator so you get 5 over x cube and then 1 over x to the power 5 that's it now let's say they want you to find the expansion of x minus 1 over x power 5 let's say it's a part b question you in part a they want you to find this so part b they want you to find x minus 1 over x power 5 it's the same thing but you have a negative sign here so write out all these terms and change the signs start from positive negative positive negative positive negative that's the expansion of x minus 1 over x to the power 5 